Ready to fight? Yes! Are ready to win? Yes! Are you ready to let Kamala Harris, our next president of the United States of America? President Joe Biden is stumping for Vice President Kamala Harris for the first time since he dropped out of the race. The two appeared together in the battleground state of Pennsylvania today. This comes at the end of a Labor Day blitz for Harris, reaching out to union workers in battleground states. ABC's Perry Rusum is in Washington. President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris standing side by side in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Their first official campaign event together since Biden dropped out of the race. She has a backbone like a ramrod. Yeah. She has the moral compass of a saint. This woman knows what she's doing. The rally, a part of the Harris campaign's Labor Day Blitz, reaching out to union workers in the battleground states of Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan. Because when union wages go up, everybody's wages go up. When union workplaces are safer, all workplaces are safer. When unions are strong, America is strong. It comes as Biden met with his hostage deal negotiation team after six hostages held by Hamas were found dead in Gaza, including Israeli-American Hirsch Goldberg Poland. <laughs> his friends and family mourning his death at his funeral today. Do you think it's time for Prime Minister Netanyahu to do more on this issue? Do you think he's doing enough? No. Protests against Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu are growing in Israel and here in the U.S. The pressure internationally must be directed at these killers, at Hamas, not at Israel. Biden says the U.S. is very close to presenting a final hostage deal to both sides. We're not giving up. And we're told if that final deal falls apart, it could mean the end of U.S.-led negotiations. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington. New polling from ABC News and Ipsos shows a voter divide between Harris and Trump. Right now, Harris is leading the former president 52 to 46 among likely voters, which is outside the margin of error. Trump did not have a campaign event today. However, in a statement for Labor Day, Trump said the U.S. was an, quote, economic powerhouse when he was in office and claims Harris and Biden have undone all of that.